Welcome back, everybody, to the No Morning Show here on TTT. We are also live on Talk City 91.1 FM and on Facebook at TTT Live Online. You can also check out our YouTube page, TTT Live Online, to keep up to date with everything that is happening here on the No Morning Show. And before the break, we were having an interesting conversation about Child Abuse Prevention Month. I'm going to be chatting with uh, Hanif Benjamin, who is the chairman of the Children's Authority, to you know find out where that line is between um, abuse and disciplining a child and also to find out a little bit about what the children's authority is doing good morning Mr. good Benjamin. morning thank you so much for having me um and um of course um the month of april has been dubbed the uh, child abuse prevention awareness month mm -hmm. and it is important for us at the children's authority uh, because as you know we are charged with the mandate of that of care and protection of all children in trinidad and tobago and so this month we are really amping up what we have been doing throughout the years which is really bringing awareness to trinidad and tobago on the different types of abuse in particular uh this month we want to focus on emotional abuse and i think it, it's one of those abuses that that we seldom pay attention to i mean we pay attention to the physical abuse um the sexual abuse um but we really don't pay attention to the emotional abuse and so the the theme for this month is strong and thriving families and we want to be able to create strong and thriving families through our awareness and getting trinidad and tobago um to understand what is abuse and of course emotional abuse so what is abuse then how do we define abuse abuse is is is, is an act um, that is perpetrated against a child that is not in the interest best interest of a child um, where you are using forms whether it is physical sexual emotional whatever it is to hurt a child um, or to abuse a child in that sense and um, Th that is a basic definition of what it is. Um, and we need people to understand that because I know the conversation um, that you were having is really, you know, what is, when does one move mm -hmm. from discipline to abuse? And it is very simple. Discipline is meant to teach. Abuse is not. And a lot of times when we get into the act of disciplining without proper guidance, it crosses the threshold into abuse. And that is what we want people to understand, that you have a right to discipline your child, but you also have a right to understand what is abuse and when you are crossing over into that threshold. Mm. But some people will say, this is my child, and this is how I see best fit to discipline that child. You if are quite a, right. A, a lash or, or, or something. Well, you are quite right, and the law provides for that, for parent and or guardian um, in the Children's Act. It uh, speaks to um, the use of reasonable um, measures to, um, to discipline a child. But at the Children's Authority, and part of our advocacy, is let us find alternative means. Mm -hmm. y you know, let us find a way where we can teach our children, guide our children, because because to be quite frank with you, children do what they learn, what they see. Mm -hmm. And so it is important for us to help them, yeah, um, to, to be able to make the right decisions. Yeah, so, so for this month, yeah. Rishi, we really want to be able to go out to the, what you call the nook and cranny of Trinidad and Tobago to really bring the information. And we're excited because we are partnering with Fusion Sports, um, that adventure mm -hmm. that has a, a fan base of over 40,000 persons throughout the Caribbean. And we're really going to be using them as the, the tool we, because we want to go outside of the box to really get people to understand the messaging of what is child abuse. Yeah, and, and you talk about the theme being um, getting strong and thriving families. Correct. How do you plan to do that? Sir? Well, definitely by giving families alternative measures by helping them to understand especially emotional abuse and you know we grow up with hearing you're stupid you're dotish you're this you're that you know and and people don't understand the lifelong impact i heard you said i came out fine but but when we really sit <laughs> and we analyze the things that were said to us as children whether or not it, it, it resonated with us throughout life whether or not it changed our perspective on life and so we want people to understand that emotional abuse is serious and we want families to understand that you can damage children by what you use in terms of your speech and your, what you say to children and i'm glad that lisa is, yeah, is joining in on this conversation because i feel very strongly about emotion, emotional or verbal abuse mm -hmm. because uh, sometimes it manifests itself so much later on in life and people take that into the workplace or into their relationships and then they themselves become emotionally abusive 
to others around them. So the and cycle they carry continues. It. I, I agree with you 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think you just hit it on the head because people don't understand that emotional, psychological abuse is a silent abuse. Yeah. And that reverberates in life. And people become so fearful, you of know, course. in their workplace, in their relationships without even realizing Correct. that it is Correct. really. And, you know, I did a documentary a while ago on um, violence against women and girls. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the speakers was saying that emotional abuse is perhaps the pro probably one of the worst forms of abuse because it's silent, as you said. Let me tell you something, Lisa. I tell people, I am not concerned about the broken rib or the black eye. I have gone past that. I have said to people, long before you are physically broken, your mind has been broken. Mm -hmm. And that is why we have the cycle and the battered woman syndrome. Your mind has been broken yeah. through emotional abuse. Mm -hmm. And if we teach our children from now to recognize it, if we avoid it, we create stronger minds. Absolutely. We create stronger families. Absolutely. We create stronger society. You know, this takes us into the conversation about mental health now, oh, which people wow. look <laughs> at and say, you know, mm -hmm. get out, get over it. You know, what's wrong with you? Without realizing how how deep seated mental health can be. So I was listening to the BBC last year or year before when Robin Williams committed suicide, yes. right? I think they spent an entire year digging deeply into the whole issue of mental health. And they were saying if you have uh, cancer or so stage four, you will die. Mm -hmm. You know, any sort of disease, when it gets to a certain level without mm -hmm. being treated, you die. If you have a mental health issue or you're suffering from depression, and someone ends up committing suicide, that's the end result. Correct. So it is, um, it is it's real. It's, real. it's a very it's real. real issue. And yeah. so the Children's Authority through this month will really be going um, to the media houses, to the communities, and really partnering with Fusion Adventure so that we can take the message in yeah. to the common man on the street so that they too can understand their role, their responsibility as it relates to emotional abuse more so, but all types of abuse and how we can prevent that type of abuse on our children and families. Oh. What, what is the contact number for the, the authority? Well, you can call us at 996, that's our um, emergency hotline, or 800 2014, of course. Yeah, to All get right. more information good on that, Lisa. So it, it, See, I get fire every day. Yeah, yeah Lisa, it, it, but it's a really good conversation yes. to have. And it's continue it for the rest yeah. of the month. Yep. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so Thank much you for having much, me, the uh, Children's Mr. Authority. Hannah Benjamin. Coming back. And we will definitely have the Children's Authority to talk a little bit more about that. But for now, we're taking your local weather forecast with Ian Wallace.